Happy New Year everybody. Welcome to my first video for 2023. My name's Rufus Gazelle and today we are in Highcliffe in Dorset, just outside Christchurch, where we're going to be paying our respects to the late, great Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior, the founder of the British London-based department store Selfridges. And he's buried just here in this churchyard next to me at the parish of St Mark. So let's go in and take a look. Now, as we enter the church and the graveyard itself, it's not going to be hard today to try and locate his grave. I think so many people come down here locally to visit his grave or people that want to come and pay their respects, that they've left a sign so people don't struggle to try and find it. Even though the church itself and the graveyard isn't that big, they've left this kind gesture so anybody that does come down here just has to follow this sign right at the foot of this headstone by the main entrance and it's pointing just down there along that tree line. Before we walk down there and actually visit his grave and pay our respects, I want to talk to you a little bit more about the life and times of Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior, about his life, the history of the department store and what happened to his legacy. Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior was born on the 11th of January 1858 and sadly passed away on the 8th of May 1947, was an American retail magnate who founded the London-based department store Selfridges. His 20-year leadership of Selfridges led to him becoming one of the most respected and wealthy retail magnates in the United Kingdom. He was known as the Earl of Oxford Street. Born in Ripon, Wisconsin and raised in Jackson, Michigan, Selfridge delivered newspapers and left school at 14 when he found work at a bank in Jackson. Selfridge eventually obtained a stock boy position at Marshall Fields Department Store in Chicago, where over the next 25 years he rose to become a partner. In 1890, he married the wealthy Rose Buckingham, who was from a prominent Chicago family. In 1906, following the trip to London, Selfridge invested 400000 to build a new department store in what was then the unfashionable western end of Oxford Street. Selfridge's department store opened its doors to the public on the 15th of March 1909, and Selfridge remained chairman until 1941. Selfridge's prospered during World War I, and up to the mid-1930s, the Great Depression was already taking its toll on Selfridge's retail business, and his lavish spending had run up £150,000 worth of debt to his store. He became a British subject in 1937. By 1940, he owed £250,000 in taxes and was in debt to the bank. The Selfridge's board forced him out in 1941. In 1951, the original Oxford Street Selfridges was acquired by the Liverpool-based Lewis's chain of department stores, which was in turn taken over in 1965 by the Shears Group, owned by Charles Claw. So there's a brief introduction to the life of Harry Gordon Selfridge Sr. But I want to go into a little bit more detail about his earlier life, his death. So we're going to do that now. And that sun is so bright today, it's blinding me. I don't know if you can see it on my face. And those blue skies truly is a glorious day. Well, today being a bank holiday Monday, as of the recording of this right now, it's the 2nd of January. So everybody's back at work tomorrow. So I hope you're all enjoying your bank holiday. Although by the time you've watched this, it'll be later on in the week. And that sun has finally disappeared behind the church. So yes, let's rewind now and go back into his earlier life and obviously later on to his death and try and go into a bit more detail. So let's do that now. Selfridge was born to Robert Oliver Selfridge and Lois Francis Selfridge in Ripon, Wisconsin on the 11th of January, 1858, one of three boys. Within months of his birth, the family moved to Jackson, Michigan as his father had acquired the town's general store. At the outbreak of the American Civil War, his father joined the Union Army. He rose to the rank of major before being honourably discharged. However, he abandoned his family, not returning home after the war had ended. This left his wife, Lois, to bring up three young boys. Selfridge's two brothers died at a very young age, shortly after the war ended. So Harry became his mother's only child. She found work as a schoolteacher and struggled financially to support both of them. She supplemented her low income by painting greeting cards and eventually becoming a headmistress of Jackson High School. Selfridge and his mother enjoyed each other's company and were good friends. She lived with him until her death in 1924. 
1890, Selfridge married Rosalie Rose Buckingham of the prominent Buckingham family of Chicago. Her father was Benjamin Hale Buckingham, who was a member of a very successful family real estate business established by her grandfather, Alva Buckingham. At 30 years old, Rose was a successful property developer, having inherited money and expertise from her family. Rose had purchased land in Harper Avenue, Hyde Park, Chicago, and built 42 villas. The couple had five children, three girls and two boys, although their first son died soon after birth. At the height of his success, Selfridge leased Highcliffe Castle in Dorset from Major General Edward James Montague Stuart Wortley. In addition, he purchased Hengelsbury Head, a mile-long coastal head on England's southern coastal line, where he planned to build a magnificent castle. These plans never got off the drawing board, however, and in 1930 the head was put up for sale. Although only a tenant at Highcliffe, he set about fitting modern bathrooms, installing steam central heating and building and equipping a modern kitchen. During World War I, Rose opened a tented retreat called the Mrs Gordon Selfridge Convalescent Camp for American Soldiers on the castle grounds. Selfridge gave up the lease in 1922. During the years of the Great Depression, Selfridge's fortune rapidly declined and then disappeared, a situation not helped by his free spending ways. He gambled frequently and often lost. He also spent money on various showgirls. On the 8th of May 1947, Selfridge died of bronchial pneumonia at his home in Putney, southwest London, aged 89. His funeral was held on the 12th of May at St Mark's Church in Highcliffe, after which he was buried at St Mark's Churchyard next to his wife Rose, who died during the influenza pandemic of 1918, and his mother, who died in 1924. The British period television drama series Mr Selfridge began its first season in 2013, starring Jeremy Piven as Harry Gordon Selfridge. I just wanted to add that Selfridge had numerous liaisons, including those with the celebrated Dolly Sisters. And even on his private yacht, the SY Conqueror, he had VIP guests, such as Rudyard Kipling, cruising the Mediterranean. So I think it's about time we finally go and locate the final resting place of Harry Gordon Selfridge Sr. Laid to rest here at the Parish Church of St Mark at High Cliff in Dorset. So here we have the final resting place of Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior, the founder of the British London-based department store, Selfridges. In loving memory of Harry Gordon Selfridge, 1857 to 1947, and a single rose left just here by somebody recently. Now the final resting place of Harry Gordon Selfridge is here. But these two graves next to him, I have no idea who they are. I literally cannot read the headstones at all. You literally can't read it. But his wife Rose is buried here and his mother, Lois, is buried there. So who are these graves? Obviously members of the family, but who exactly they are, I cannot answer. So I've done a little bit of research. Like I've said, this is Harry's grave here, but unfortunately, these two graves next to him are no relation. They are no relation to the Selfridge family. So unfortunately, he is separated from his wife and his mother. I'm guessing Harry died a lot later on after these were laid to rest next to his wife and his mother. And unfortunately, this was the closest they could get Harry to his family. Bit of a sad story, but unfortunately, that is life.
So before we take a look at Rosa's final resting place and Lois's final resting place, I just want to show you these two headstones that separate the family members. You literally cannot read a single word upon these headstones. It's like someone has chiseled out every single word on the inscription. I can't make any words out. I don't know if you can. I certainly can't. It's such a shame that someone has chiseled out these words. Whether there's a reasoning behind it, I don't know. All I do know, like I've said already, is they're not related to Harry Selfridge or anyone else in this family plot. Now, Rose's final resting place is just here. You can see just up from Harry's final resting place. And her inscription reads, Sacred to the memory of Rose, dearly beloved wife of H. Gordon Selfridge, who died May the 12th, 1918, a nature sweet and beautiful beyond words. And I've just noticed down here, interred in this grave are the ashes of Beatrice Buckingham Lovell Lewis, 1902 to 1990, the youngest daughter of Gordon and Rose Selfridge. I never knew that. So it's not just Rose and his mother. It's also Gordon and Rose's youngest daughter. Now next to Rose is the final resting place of Lois, Frances Selfridge, the mother of Harry. So let's take a quick look at her inscription just on the top. It reads, sacred to the memory of Lois Francis Selfridge. Here it reads, who lived a long and beautiful life full of coverage, of happy inspiration and of highest ideals. And who died the 25th of February, 1924. So there we have it guys, the grave of Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior, the founder of Selfridge's department store here at Highcliffe at St Mark's Cemetery in Dorset and his family, Lois Selfridge and his wife Rose and his youngest daughter Beatrice. So we're gonna leave those behind now. Now before I end this video, I'm gonna go and show you Highcliffe Castle, which is literally meters away from this location, which is the house that he leased. Um, when he lived here with his wife and I'm presuming his mother too who lived with him So we're gonna pop down the road and I'll show you Highcliffe Castle So this was the former home of Harry Gordon Selfridge Senior. Highcliffe Castle behind me. I mean, I think this is very impressive. I don't know about you, but this to me is very, very impressive. He had this lease until 1922 and he stayed here with his wife Rose and his mother Lois. You gotta admit, he must have had some serious money to own or lease a place like this, Highcliffe Castle. So that was Highcliffe Castle, here at Highcliffe in Dorset, literally a stone's throw from the church in which Harry Gordon Selfridge is buried, just through those trees there, is the churchyard and the church itself, the parish of St Mark, as a loud bike goes behind me. Yeah, there's the church and the churchyard just there. Literally is only a short walk and a stone's throw from this location. Anyway, come at the end. It has finally come to the end of the video. I've got to thank you all for watching, guys. I really do appreciate you all subscribing, the new subscribers and the returning subscribers. It is a new year, it's 2023, and I'm really looking forward for you guys and joining me on all my adventures whether it's paying my respects like I have done today to famous graves or visiting filming locations or haunted locations, which I hopefully I will do more of this year. And vlogs, I'm gonna do random vlogs throughout the year of my life that has no real meaning, 
but gives an insight into my life. So hopefully you will enjoy those too. So to that end guys, all I've got left to say is please go and give this video a thumbs up, go and subscribe if you haven't done already, and make sure to go and hit the notification bell for all future notifications, it's that simple, it really is. You don't have to pay, it's not a subscription service, and hopefully you will enjoy all the content that I will be releasing throughout the year, and obviously all the videos that I did last year in 2022, go back and revisit those. There are plenty to choose from. So, here, a high cliff in Dorset, at the parish of St Mark, vlog over.